Hello everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So, if you didn't watch the previous episode, <coughs> I've already eaten, ready to, uh, to get started on some more Hogwarts adventures. Still disappointed to see that, you see how the, uh, everything brightens around my character? Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Uh, reflections aren't great. Or is that? Those are green lines on my character. Revelio. Nope. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Oh, right. I thought they were gonna make me press a button to open the door. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm supposed <laughs> to go to the common room. Which I imagine is this. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Not right either. Yes, it is different. <coughs> oh, alright. Okay, that is just terrible, honestly. <laughs> Two bites and the apple magically disappears. And the bites aren't even visible. Right, Samantha? Oh god, the frame rate. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Yeah, there is definitely Great something wrong golden here. Golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. Oh right, I, I forgot to mention. From home so I watched so the previous episode, cozy. and aside from Disney these instances amazing, where it's it? so stuttering very heavily, a little plant. Um, <laughs> it seemed like the frame rate was stable. Plants, as you can see. <laughs> so. Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Yeah, I'm nice gonna to keep you, recording Samantha. at 30 FPS. Is Disney used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. You can't teach theory without really. Knowing Professor Fig too. does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. Come on. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, Professor cares Garlic, where you get come on, they didn't even as try. Long as the are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Okay, so we got a bunch of no-name NPCs. Okay, now there is stuttering just moving around. I gotta turn down some of the settings. I'll go for high, uh, the high preset. Wait, so now I don't need to restart? I still notice, I still feel some stuttering. Happened while I was spinning the camera. Strange. Just have to wait for the right moment. Oh god. What is it with the, the heavy stuttering What's before this? every cutscene? What is this? I think someone threw a dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. It's right. a dung bomb. What, what did, did you, you hope would happen? Thank you. I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived yeah, a rather this... harrowing trip here. And now the stuttering isn't going away. I'm glad to be here. Ready for class. I don't know to what's start. wrong. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. 
I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best um, I let you judge for yourself. I do tend is to that really push watching me. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Y uh, you'll see nice meeting what I mean. You, you too, Everett. This one here. Okay, now my frame rate is just in the toilet. Hang on. I need to change some settings. Okay, there's something windowed full screen. Population quality medium, texture quality. Let's put it in medium too. Post processing on low. Okay, it feels like it's better. Not by much, though. New fifth year. Wonder where they're from. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. But yeah, anyway, this thing was blinking. Oh, see? There it goes. Is it sentient? I hope not. Oh yeah, see? Stuttering again. Only on this side. Nope, never mind. Still going on this side. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm guessing the stuttering is due to loading stuff. This is unacceptable, though. Just straight up. I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't. Oh, right, I can always just disable ray tracing. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, I'm gonna pause the recording, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and I already learned another annoying thing about the game. So, although you can technically save... Oh my God, do, do you see the, the shadows on the statue there? It's just so noticeable. Uh, although you can technically save, uh, when you do... It doesn't actually save. I mean, it, it might be saving something, uh, but it's not saving the way you would expect. Like, I had to uh, speak to this guy again and Samantha because their interactions had been reset. So, you know, they weren't saved. Is that bad? God, I thought that the whole point was to go to class. Okay. <coughs> oh, it's a ghost. Hello, ghost. Wait, is it rude to go through a ghost? I feel like it would be, right? That's Should avoid just that. Brilliant, Army. Brilliant. Think you could... ah. this is them. Well, I'm not going into somebody else's room. Let's see. Level 1 lock. Come on. Wait. Aren't I level 1? For fuck's sake. Well, Madam Kagawa said she's never seen anyone with such form of a group. She even had the rest of the class watch me to see how oh, it's done. character can play whatever that is. Or it's playing itself. Everyone. It's probably playing itself, isn't it? Either that or my character cast a spell on it. I mean, from this distance, it's either that or the guy is very fast or has very long invisible arms. Yes, I am supposed to go into somebody else's room. Level 11 lock. Alright. And nothing. Nothing here either. Alright, time to go downstairs. Now, as you can see, without ray tracing, the stuttering... As I was saying, without ray tracing, the stuttering seems to have gone away. Alright. Deep breath. So, I'm Why, happy. Hello. Would you like to take a look? I'm of the opinion that ray tracing 
for the most part, is simply not worth Can't the performance see too hit. Much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Amit. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend that. it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Well, the stars are fascinating. I <clears> hope <throat> astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. Wait, why I have wouldn't good it news be? For you. you are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! It's weird that, although I don't like to read, I do like the smell of a book. Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Wait, who was speaking? Okay, getting some stuttering now. I think it was during the, the autosave. Which, again, makes no sense. Good morning. I trust but you're right. ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I should probably Can't lock the, the frame rate well, at 60. Here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete motion your capture is amazing. I can see individual eyelashes. OWLs. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department yeah, of Magical uh, Education what you at the can ministry, have. We've devised so this is decided for you. To ensure your success. Oh. Okay. Here you are. A book. Okay, this looks cool, but what is it? Yeah, what? It is what is it? <laughs> It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Was the book just showing off? You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Did it just... oh my god. Thank Wait, you, was it the book or was it what my character that did that? track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. <clears throat> Very good. This way. Yeah, it seems like for the most part it is hitting the 144 frames per second. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic. It's only during these these bits when the frame rate the drops that uh, there is a, a noticeable issue. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Trying to create some distance between us because it's creepy that I'm basically a press. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? Yeah, I and see what see details something. the field guide can provide. What the? Okay, that is extremely Rebellio. creepy. I find it very off-putting when statues look at you, especially when. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Jesus. Okay, challenges, tiers, special rewards, unlock at each tier you complete from purest critical upgrades. Alright. 
Although it is creepier when Kanda, they it? look one way and then you turn around and then they lo they're looking another way. So I guess the, the smooth movement here isn't as creepy. If this were a weeping angel situation, that would be just awful. No Getting some to stuttering waste. here too. To so ray tracing does not appear to have fixed everything. Rather, ray tracing off does not appear to have fixed everything. What does this do? Um, how does this work? Oh, I can't. Oh, well, I thought I'd be able to, uh, to pick something, but all right. Wait, maybe. You've been practicing. Oh, thank God! I thought she was gonna <laughs> bite my head off for damaging the uh, the doorway. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit blue. quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Two main areas. Uh, left side is where students and professors live. Includes the house, common rooms, the Great Hall. Grand Staircase region to continue. So it's this. Okay. See the flue flames available. Green flue flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own com house common room. Gray are undiscovered. Right side, academic points of interest, astronomy tower, library, greenhouses. Library annex region to continue. She unlocked the central flue flame. Okay. And... And, and here we ah, are. Quite finally. the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I thought the flu network was only for fireplaces. You can get almost. I'm guessing if I had read the books, I would understand why I could just g uh, come here. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Is King's Cross Station that old? That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. At lost? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require mm. in Hogsmeade. Frame rate you is will dropping also, I imagine, enjoy close to 100 frames per with second. Friends in due course. I think I'd best just cap it the to Defense 60. Against the Dark <coughs> Arts class. Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend I'm, oneself uh, against the evils. I'm not one of those guys who has a wars. massive boner for a high frame rate. 60 is fine. Is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our Hecate, students' education as in, Hecate. in that regard. Sure. Definitely not evil. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. That is the third uh, spelling of a name that is pronounced as Ronan that I've seen. So Ronan Dex uh, from Stargate Atlantis. Ronan, fr uh, Ronan the, uh, the Accuser. And then Ronan the... You know, the samurai without a master. Thank you, Professor Weasley. And now, Ronan. To absorb on your first day. They have slightly and different pronunciations, I suppose, learn. but Happily, they sound very your similar. Your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. 
actually, I might cap it to 90 it frames per second. Than a search for belongings <clears throat> and an extended trip up to the castle. As I said, I'm not... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Sorry. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your uh, ears must have been burning. Uh -oh. As I said, I'm yes. not one with a massive boner for with a <clears throat> solid foundation in the high frame rates, but if I can oh, get 90, I'm afraid I can't that take is all the credit than there, 60. Professor. They have a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely yeah. on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. All right. Good luck nope. today. Not yet. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. All right. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll Very see good. if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. What supplies did I waste exactly? Okay, settings. Let's see. Frame rate. It doesn't have a 90. You know what? I'll just leave it at 120. It's fine. Um, maybe if I turn all this off. Okay, should be fine. My I have G Sync monitor as G Sync rather. Upscale mode quality. Let's put it on auto. It's usually acceptable. And this, let's put it at 0.2. I did notice that some things that should have been sharper were not all that sharp. Also, is it me or does everything look like there's a, a thick fog everywhere? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Really? Yes, well, you think? Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Yes, I, I was pressing M. Hmm. Let's see, which one? Defense against dark arts or charms? Let's go with this one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. I wonder now, what the wand selection is going to be like. And pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. 
All right, so supposedly there's some cast charmed compass. Ah, that's neat, right? Reminds me of uh, Elden Ring's thing. Though there it uh, it was just a general sense of direction. It wasn't like this. Can I uncast it? Yes. What? No, wait, that just cast it again. Eaves? It's tormenting Professor Black. The hell is this? I don't remember this guy. Yeah, there's a page, I think. Revelio. Ta-da! This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias. Uh, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the Dark Wizard Ra Ra whatever by conjuring a mouse Patronus. A mouse! Level 11 lock. That human's now what is this? Oh, it's the Rebellion. network. Oh? I see you. I think I don't, but I do. Oh, all right, leveled up. <coughs> That's neat. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be surprised it is. Hogwarts after- and this is the wrong class. It is Hogwarts after all, but yeah, I was surprised. I hope our character doesn't turn out to be uh, some... Uh, some... wait, what? Whatever. Uh... Like someone from the uh, the books or movies. Okay. Hmm. Hello. Okay. What's this? Oh. Christ! Revelio. That is so cool. And this is a straight up black hole. Revelio. Okay, I don't know what that is supposed to be. I don't know if it's purposefully. Uh, black like that. Pungent passage. The passage is relatively not the script as far as passages go. The sailing of a crop of Mimbulus Mimblatonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Okay, but that doesn't explain the black hole that I'm seeing here. I'm going to assume this is just a a visual glitch of some kind. <coughs> Who is this? It doesn't have a name. Revelio. And there's no field guide page. This guy here, also no field guide page. Will this move? No. That's sad. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. Oh, oh, it is here. Oh god, that is extremely creepy. And the, the blinking noise, why does it make a noise? How nice to see you, my young friend. Um, thank you. Rebellion. Ah. Nice cup of tea. Tea is very pleasant to drink. Like, I know the, the British get shit for uh, drinking so much tea, but it is a very nice drink. It's very pleasant. 
but they should get shit off the shit for, is for not putting sugar in the tea. Tea is bitter. Okay, it needs a little bit of sugar. Not milk. Seriously, milk and tea is disgusting. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the Great Parade <coughs> of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. Yes. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. She is right, though. Age, irrelevant. Knowledge is what matters. Because anybody can get old. Levioso. But learning is something that only a few people even care to do. Others, unfortunately, simply don't have the opportunity. Now, let's try something that a little is, larger. I think, even sadder than someone who is unwilling to learn. She should not be leaning forward like that. That's very bad for your back. I know she's not doing it on purpose. Just oh, saying. Let us begin with a basic cast. Again, frame rate goes to shit. We're just gonna wait until it stabilizes a bit. It's not stabilizing. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Seems Remember, to be a bit better. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Nope, never mind. As Still Master terrible. Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. What is going on that makes my frame Very rate go good. to shit? Because it's back to normal. To is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. May I? Thank you. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This could be your first jewel. Let's oh, but it is. Joy in the future. You're welcome. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I got nothing. <laughs> you literally didn't hit me once. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom right. duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, what? Professor. So, I'd that advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, thank you. I guess. All right. That's enough. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. Seriously, they don't even I face you. I prefer to keep things friendly. Okay, this is extremely poor. 
and I'm honestly feeling a bit I disappointed hate to at face the moment. Professor Hecate in a duel. Okay. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Oh. Sebastian Sallow, by All the right, way. Thank you. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um. Well, I'm going to have to light him because, you know, Professor said to keep it secret. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. I did say count me in, I said you it sounds right intriguing, then. which it if does. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Are these names actual Until British names? Time. Brattleby? Sounds a bit silly. Okay, unlocked rewards. Okay. And pages. Okay, the glasses. All right. Off on another adventure, are we? It is just so weird that she speaks to me. Wait, so can I equip these now? Ah, this item has no magical properties. Facewear. No magical properties, sure. Headwear. No. Neckwear. Eh. Not a fan of scarves. Cannot upgrade. Cannot upgrade. Wait, change appearance. Oh. Various menu allows you to assign different visual to pieces you own. Hmm. Eh, I'm good. Nope. Just, just no, I don't want my guy to be naked. Oh. That is, no. Just, no. Nope. Okay. This is, why? Okay. You know what, I'll just unequip this. This looks silly as hell. The gloves, though, let's see. Legendary gloves. Would be nice if I could... Oh, there we go. Dark Arts gloves. Black leather gloves. I'll just keep the default. Or, you know what, I'll unequip this, too. It's a bit silly to, to be wearing thick gloves. Well, not that thick, but just gloves in general. In in this context, at least. Revelio. This is just... Yeah, this is taunting me, straight up. It's a lock. Of course I'm gonna want a key. Let's see, where's the next class? Getting some stuttering again. Hello. 
Let me guess, someone transformed into the cat? No, it's just petting a cat. Okay, this almost makes up for the stutter. Revelio. I'm joking, it doesn't at all. But seriously, this stuttering is borderline unacceptable. And I'm being very generous with borderline. Yes, it resolves itself in a few seconds, but I've never seen anything this bad. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. I don't think even Elden Ring stuttered this much when I first started playing. And that's saying something. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. <laughs> mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, that was funny. Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Yeah, it is the spell I thought it would be. I'm assuming this will go to slot three. Neat. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. She's cute. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! All right. Oh, loading. Okay. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> okay, we're kind of sport. <laughs> oh, literal sport. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres. Accio, relinquish your charm. Very good. No. Now, uh, think of this like gobstone. Excellent control there. Splendid! No, 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 stop! Not to worry. Damn it. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Seriously? Well, there's certainly no sport in playing <coughs> without some friendly competition. 
Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's the opening to Oh. Damn. Phew. Akio. Very good. Let us see this. All right, now I just need to score as much as her. I don't even need to <clears throat> score more. There we go. No. Oh. Quite impressive. <laughs> She's going. Is she going for thirty again? Oh no, fifty. Nice, nice. Wait. That's it. No. Oh my god. That counts. That's so stupid. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Let me guess. It's going to put holes on the uh... No moving blocks. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. So what happens if it gets hit? <clears throat> okay. I'm guessing getting hit will also break the spell. <laughs> No, 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 stop, stop, stop. All right, did it. If we tie again, I'm gonna lose it. Nope, oh, gonna get a hit and almost pushed out. That is how it's done. Yeah, you're lagging behind that size, so... Natty, right? I think that's... Nope! Shit, I got distracted by... Damn it! Don't lose your composure! <sighs> if she scores a 30, I can still win. If she scores a 50, I'm screwed. And she's gonna score a 50, isn't she? Nope. 30. Okay, I still have a chance here. Just need to score a 50. All right, here we go. <clears throat> 50 or nothing. Well done. Behold, I win with two balls. That just sounds, sorry. That, that sounded a lot better in my head. Very good, both of you. Well done. More loading. Holy crap, this Process thing is dismissed. really pushing my CPU. It's at 42 degrees. Uh, Good game sorry to contextualize, that. that's water admit, cooling. With water I think cooling. I underestimated you. The first game I've Took seen to push to my CPU over 40. Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? 
Mostly, yes. But I did mm -hmm. have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it. I mean, in terms of sheer so beauty, you can't I beat something carved. At all. Well, a building. And then it just carved into the side of a mountain. Me, this enormous with care for the mountain, not something stupid there. like faces of people. And yes, you know exactly which monument I'm talking about. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? On the other hand, it is also <laughs> Wagadu, incredibly school destructive. It's so, the largest wizarding yeah. school in the world. So, yes. Bigger than Hogwarts. Really? But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. <laughs> it always felt like home. Well, that, that is, I think, it's nice to it learn should about feel. another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants what, to talk uh, to you. What Wagadu means? Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Maybe it's the, uh, the bit she said about the, the moon. Of course. That's the word official translation, maybe. Word. Humans. If you're so you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, yes. an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You <laughs> did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professor <coughs> give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. But how is it possible that my character never learned anything about magic until now? Shouldn't they know wh when and where wizards are born? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A bit. Sure, let's go with that. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. I can imagine. All right, let's see if... uh got some rewards for the challenges? No. Late four main story quests. This was the second one, wasn't it? Hello. <clears throat> how was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. That was My really a beginner's luck. Tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, the well, victory at least was a bit of luck. Homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Right, I'm gonna have to um, to end the episode here. Because it's been going for, uh, for a while now, and I think like two classes is good enough. Let's see, next is... Hmm. Meet Professor Weasley, question mark, profit, I guess. Alright, well, so anyway, that is going to be everything for today. Oh, wait, collections. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, where do I save? Settings? Yes! So, that is everything for today. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time.